Hi guys, it's Trinity the Tuck and you're watching Talking with the Tuck. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about some of my most embarrassing moments throughout my life and there have been many. So let's dive in. One of my first most embarrassing moments that I can remember is when my grandmother put me into a school pageant. I thought I was gonna win, girl. You know, you couldn't tell me nothing. I was just as flamboyant as I am today, but a little boy with blonde curly hair and a tuxedo, girl. I don't know what they were trying to play, but I'd rather have been in the dress. But it comes to crowning and, well, for the boys, it was medallioning, however you say that. They give you a medallion and they say the winner is Ryan. Blah, blah, blah. I didn't even hear the last name. I just heard the first name, Ryan. So in front of my entire school, their parents, cousins, sisters, best friends, uncle's brother, I go up to the front thinking I had just won this pageant. Girl, I was living. I get up to the podium and the announcer looks at me and they're like, it's not you, it's the other Ryan. And he was right behind me, the most popular kid in school. He was way cuter than I was and like a grade higher than me. And I felt so embarrassed. Needless to say, I didn't do any more boy pageants ever again. My next story that is a really embarrassing moment was my first day in high school. And in high school, at least my high school, they assign you lockers, but you don't get to get them until the end of the day. So I'm having to carry around all of my new school books from every class. And the floors had just been waxed. They're nice and slick. And girl, back in my day, we had those slides. What are they called? Those, um... Um... Okay, before there were Crocs, there were Birkenstocks, girl, and those were all the rage. So I had on my Birkenstocks, and if you are familiar with Birkenstocks, the underneath is kind of slippery, especially when the floors have been waxed. Well, I'm leaving one class that's upstairs to go to another class downstairs with all my books, girl. My friend says something to me behind me. I turn to look at her and then bitch tumble all the way down two flights of stairs. My Birkenstocks had flown off, my books were everywhere, and at the bottom of these two staircases, there is a double door that goes out into the hallway, the main hallway where everyone is. And girl slipped straight through that door and was looking around while all the kids were laughing at me. How horrifying. Mother, why did you buy me those Birkenstocks? It was a horrible idea. I know I begged for them, but you should have given me some like Nikes or something or like cleats. That probably would have helped me from falling. I mean, I'm all for a clean floor, but why'd you have to wax it like that, girl? Fucking look like my cheek or Pheromone's cheek with all the highlighter, girl. That's slick. When I first started drag at 18, I started with two of my best friends. One's name was Madison Alexis, and my other friend's drag name was Annika. We did everything together. We started drag, we went and chopped for hair, we made costumes, more like bought them at like Forever 21. And sometimes we would enter this Thursday night contest called The Baddest Bitch together and do group numbers. Well, this one time, me and Annika decided to do a duet. I don't even remember the song, but it doesn't matter because we lost. She could do splits and high kicks and all that, girl. I ain't never been able to do that. I'm not limber. I can't even touch my toes. So I don't even know why I would even attempt to do anything. We had made it to the final round between me and her and this other person who entered the contest. And she's like, oh my God, we have to do something to win. So when they call our names on three, let's do a high kick. So I'm like, okay, girl, I, I don't even know what a high kick is. Like you kick forward. I mean, 
I'll be lucky to get a medium kick <laughs> instead of a high kick, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try. They call her names and she goes, one, two, three. We both do a high kick. Her high kick goes like up to her chin, bitch. My high kick goes to about my belly button. And girl, another slip moment. My feet just go out from under me and I fall backwards on my back. My wig comes off and there's the story of us losing again. I can't keep it together. I felt like Monique Hart and pheromone, all mixed into one. Falling and wigs coming off, falling and wigs coming off, girl. I have tons and tons and tons more embarrassing moments that I will share at a later date. I hope you enjoyed this quick video and comment below and tell me your most embarrassing moments. I really wanna laugh at you. Thanks for watching. What is it called? Um... Uh...